Hi, my name is Calvin, and welcome to my neighborhood. If you like what you see, just hit the subscribe button. Now, let's see what I'm doing today in my neighborhood. Hello everybody, my name is Big Calvin. I'm here today to tell you that my son, Calvin, is learning about slavery from Mr. Antonio, his teacher, and Adela Ray's in his class, and also Ari. Well, they're learning a lot about slavery. They learned that slavery was the cause of Africans selling each other uh, to Europeans, and that's the reason why slaves were bought from Africa to the Americas. It was called the transatlantic slave trade. So, they learned that, and they also learned that slavery was really the result of some evil people doing bad things to other people, because it's not a good idea to sell other people, um, like you're selling a car or a bicycle or something like that. So, those aren't good ideas. Now, I'll see what they're doing today in class um, at Mr. Antonio's classroom. Let's just see what's happening today. Ah, my name is Adela Ray, and I'm going to be going into the classroom. I'm going to go into Mr. Antonio's classroom because we're learning about slavery and we're learning about different types of slavery today. Wow! Last week, we learned how slaves were brought to the United States and how they were transported from Africa to Asia. Well, no, uh, uh, America. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, I better hurry up and get in the classroom. Looks like Mr. Antonio is getting ready to start. Yeah, better hurry up. Okay, everybody, come on in, have a seat, so uh, we can get started. Oh, wow. Ari, you're on time. Calvin, you're on time. Adela Ray, you're late, okay? That's all right. Just please have your seat so we can get started. And today, we're going to talk about the different types of slavery that um, you may have not known about. So, we're going to talk about different types of slavery in Africa, so that you have a better understanding of what we're talking about. Okay, I've got my hand raised, and I have a question too. Yeah, it's a big question. All right, hey look, are the Africans and the white people going to be the bad guys again? You talk about slavery in Africa. Oh, um, yeah, I hope not. Uh, Ari's a good guy. I'm a good guy. So why can't we be the good guys? Just Calvin? Okay, okay. We're learning about history, Adela Ray. And when we learn history, we learn that there are some good people and... There's some bad people. Good people have done great things, and bad people have done bad things. So right now, we're learning about slavery. And it's not that Africans are bad guys, or Europeans or whites are bad guys. That's not true. This is just history, which tells you what happened in the past. So... It's not about good guys and bad guys, and I'm sure if we looked at history, we'd find out that everybody, no matter what nationality you are, they're good people and bad people. Okay? So let's look at what we have to study about today. You know, I have to agree with Adela Ray. Yeah, that's strange. Well, you know what? I never thought I would say this, but I'm learning that there's some good people and some bad people. Well, I guess one of these lessons, we're going to learn 
fat. Well, I almost said something wrong, too. Yeah, what I was going to say, we're going to learn that the white people are good. But, we, we learned that last week. I mean, there were hard-working people that lived in the United States, and they were white, and they didn't own slaves. So, they, they were good people, too. And... I assume we're going to learn some other good things, too, about people. So, uh, Mr. Antonio, uh, just go ahead and, and teach your class today. Okay, I'll go ahead and get started. Now, the reason why I'm going to tell you about different types of slavery is because not every person in Africa that was involved in the slave trade came to North America or South America. Most did not, all right? Now, you had quite a few different types of slave slavery. I'm sorry. What you are probably know more about than anything else is something called chattel slavery. This is a specific type of servitude or ser being a servant relationship with the slave and the slave is treated as property of the owner. So this is a different type of relationship where the slave is actually the property of an owner. Now, that's the person that bought the slave, okay? Such as, now let me tell you like this, the owner was free to sell, trade, and treat the slave as he would any other pieces of property. And the children of the slaves are often retained as the property of the master. Okay, or well, that's the person that owned that. So, um, now we have evidence of that type of slavery in Africa. If you look at um, slavery along the Nile River. Okay, now, uh, okay, Ari, no, excuse me, not Ari. Um, Adelare, you have your hands up. I don't know why I keep getting you guys confused, because you don't look alike. So what you're saying, Mr. Antonio, is that in Africa, there was slavery similar to slavery in the United States. Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You had slavery just like you did in the United States. It was chattel slavery, and that meant that the owner is free to sell, trade, and treat the slave as he would any other pieces of his property. And the children of the slave master, well, the slaves were retained as the property of the master. Now, I know that you, none of you would treat somebody else like you would a piece, like a chair or furniture in your house or property. I know that you would never do that. That's because we have learned that it's not right to treat people like property. So, uh, just to let you know, white people have learned that lesson, African Americans have learned that lesson, and a lot of other people around the world have learned that lesson. It's never good to treat people like property. Oh, okay. I understand. Uh, so, slavery in the United States was chattel slavery. Okay. Um, and I get that. So, um, yeah, I understand that very well. So thank you, Mr. Antonio, for helping us out with that. Oh, a squirrel just came into class. Are you going to be nice? Wow. I think he's going to sit over there. Wow! A squirrel! Ah, I see. A squirrel came into class. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Chattel slavery is the first one. Domestic servants uh, are the next one. Many slave relations in Africa revolved around domestic slaves, where slaves would work primarily in the house of the master, but retain some freedoms. 
domestic slaves could be considered part of the master's household and would not be sold to others without extreme cause. The slaves could own uh, their own profits if they were working and whether, while well, they could be paid with land or by other products and could marry and pass the land on to their children in many cases. Uh, the next type of slavery is pawnship. Pawnship or debt bonded slavery involves the use of people as collateral to secure repayment on a debt. So, oh, okay, Ari, you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. So you mean if my father goes out to buy a car and collateral means like um, they can hold the property until you've made payment on the car. So you mean to tell me that if my father back in that time went out to buy a car, he could put me up um, as collateral, which means it's like um, I'm guaranteed he'll pay the debt so he can get me back. Wow! In other words, when he's finished paying off the car, then he can get me back. Um, is that what you're saying, Mr. Antonio? Yes, sorry, that's exactly what I'm saying. So, now slave labor was performed by the debtor, or a relation to the debtor. Usually, uh, it was in Africa, but it involves the pledge of a person or a member of that person's family to serve another person. So, pawnship was related to, yet distinct from slavery in most, um, in, in most cases. And I'll tell you why. Because the arrangement um, could include limited or specific terms of service to be provided, and because of kinship ties will protect a person from being sold into slavery. Pawnship was a common practice throughout West Africa prior to European contacts. And it was practiced among the Ewe people and the Yoruba people and Igbo, uh, especially in places like Nigeria. Way, way, Mr. Antonio, I'm Yoruba. I'm from Nigeria. You're telling me that we had slaves in our houses back then? Come on, Mr. Antonio. I'm Yoruba. You're here again. I want everybody to hear this. The Africans are the bad guys. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. You said that the domestic, the pawnship people, they, they couldn't be so... Okay, well, you better go ahead and tell some more. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, over and over again. It's not about good guys or bad guys, okay? It's about history. Now, the next type of slavery was military slavery. Military slavery involved the acquisition or getting people and training them to be conscripts or draftees or that they got them there by force where they had to fight in military units which would retain the identity of the military slaves even after service. Slave soldiers groups would run by a patron, that's what it's called, a patron, and who could be the head of a government or independent warlord, or independent warlord, I'm sorry, and would send his troops out for money and his own political interests. In other words, um, military slavery was when you just, they got people, and what they did was they forced them to fight for them. So, it could be a warlord, or it could be somebody who was in the government that wanted uh, something, and for his own selfish uh, interests, um, he went out and told the army what to do and to go out and get people. Now, the United States, we don't have that type of system. Okay, 
Let's see what else is going on. Oh, so wait a minute, Mr. Antonio. You mean that I could get an army of squirrels to go out and do some fighting for me? Wow! And I can make them fight, too! Oh, I don't know who they would fight, but uh, maybe they'll go to Ari's house. No, that wouldn't be good. Uh, Adela is all the way in Africa. Uh, I have to find somebody. What do you think, Mr. Antonio? Okay, uh, Calvin, um, we're not going to get an army of squirrels to go out and get people or fight or anything like this. This was very serious, and it caused a lot of problems. Now, you had also one of the most brutal types of slavery, and that was slaves for human sacrifice. It was common in uh, some areas of the world, and uh, West Africa was just one of them, but um, this... Was it, well, it was in West Africa up to and maybe during the 19th century. Although archaeologists, uh, when they look for evidence, um, they're not clear on the issue prior to the European context. So before Europeans came into these, uh, these uh, particular countries, um, they weren't aware of the human sacrifice that went on. Although... That happened in some parts, not only in uh, Africa, but in other parts of the world, too. So, uh, 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 let's see here. Okay, Ari, uh, what's, what, what do questions do you have? I'm not annoyed at anything like that, Ari. I just want to hear what your question is. Oh, it's not that. It's just that um, we've learned a lot, and I think you're doing a good job, Mr. Antonio. I just want to tell you, but, you know, it seems to me as though people in Africa and other parts of the world had a pretty tough time, and that's what I'm learning. Wow. Uh, thank you for teaching us. You're welcome, Ari. And next time we're going to learn about some other things, too. So, uh, I'll tell you. You guys have been real good. You've had some good questions. And remember, it's not about good guys and bad guys. And slavery is not about... Le learning about slavery is really this. It's so that we don't repeat the things that people did in the past. I can't really, really tell you how that's important. That's the reason why we learn history, so we don't repeat it. Okay, now look. You guys have a good day, and uh, that's going to be the end of class right now. All right, have a good day. Thank you for watching Calvin's Neighborhood. Now, if you'd like to see us live or online, just visit www.rvsampuppets.com. And thank you for watching... Hope to see you again real soon. Bye!